For over 150 years, autoclaves have been used in laboratories to eradicate microorganisms and bugs from glassware, instruments and laboratory waste for safe reuse or disposal. The autoclave has three major parts, the pressure vessel, a frame and panels to support and cover it, and wiring and controls to manage the system. Sheet and square section steel is offloaded and held in the metal store to await call off into the metal fabrication workshop ready to start the manufacturing process. Workers use the heavy duty guillotine to cut the steel and produce the basic flat panel shapes needed. Next, a CNC floating table hole punching machine is used to punch holes and other shapes into these panels. The punched panels are then transferred to a metal bending machine where workers create clean panel lines and smooth rounded corners that feature in the final build. Lengths of steel bar and angle for the autoclave frame are cut on the CNC saw and welded together ready for painting. At this stage some finished panels are incorporated onto the frames. Finished frames and panels are sent for painting in antimicrobial powder coat and are returned ready for final assembly. High grade stainless steel sheet is used to fabricate the pressure vessel and is fully certified to ensure full traceability. Laser cut stainless steel header and door plates are machined on CNC laves, mills and drills to finish them ready to form part of the finished pressure vessel. The pressure vessel wall is formed from a cut and punched flat panel on a rounding machine making a gentle roll to bring two outer edges together. An automatic seam welder is then used to produce a straight and smooth seam weld. Next, a large end cap is welded to the tube to finish the basic chamber construction. To finish the pressure vessel, a stainless steel header plate is welded to the open end of the cylinder. The header plate incorporates mounting flanges used to mount and fix the pressure vessel to the autoclave door and the mounting frame. Whilst the autoclave chamber takes shape, other parts of the workshop have also been busy. CNC multi-spindle lathes and milling machines produce the various smaller items that make up the finished build of a cylindrical autoclave. In the assembly area, the door and closure fittings are added to the pressure vessel so that it can be made watertight ready for pressure testing. Every pressure vessel is tested under water pressure to one and a half times its maximum design pressure and held for 30 minutes to check the integrity of the welds. In the electrical area, workers make up wiring looms to join all the electrical components to the control system. These are tailored to fit the shape of the autoclave frame. Control components, along with the microprocessor control board, are built up into an electrical chassis ready to be fitted along with the wiring loom to the autoclave during assembly. All components come together in the building test area. First, the pressure vessel is carefully mounted and secured in its frame. Next, all water and steam inlet feeds and outlet drains are manually built in copper tubing and valves are fitted. Like the wiring looms, the knowledge of the technician is important as each pipe work run is different for each model. Next, technicians fit the wiring loom and electrical chassis, carefully connecting all the switches, interlocks and actuators. Now they fit the control panel. This allows the autoclave operator to set up the autoclave for the many different sterilising cycles that it's designed for. Once the autoclave has been fully assembled, it's given a full operational test. The autoclave is run and is function and safety tested against an extended checklist where different options have been ordered, these are also tested. Satisfied the laboratory autoclave has been built to fully meet the customer's order, it is prepared for shipment. Where the autoclave has been built for export, it is packed in a robust wooden case to protect it on its long journey ahead. Once an autoclave arrives at the customer's premises, engineers and support staff ensure trouble-free installation. And that is how an autoclave is built.